Hi there everybody, it's UK independent demonstrator Halsey here from slimandstylish.com. Thank you very much for joining me today. Today it's time for a midweek mini project. So it's been about a month or so since I've bought you a midweek mini, so I do apologise. Since that time I've actually moved, so I now have a new craft room and I'm not 100% still on where everything is. So this might be a very interesting midweek mini with me trying to scramble around to find things while I'm making my card, but I will do my best, so please bear with me. My midweek mini projects feature a stamp set from our mini catalogue. Today's one is Treasured Medallion, which I've been looking forward to using. I really like it. I think it's quite gothic-y, and I'm really looking forward to playing with some colour with this one. So let's get started. Midweek minis, I make three cards with no clue, no idea, no plan, and I bung them all together. And sometimes I love them and sometimes I don't, but we'll just see where we go with it. So on my desk, before I get started, I've got some card mounts and some card bases. So these here, they're all using basic white. This one here is 10 centimetres by 14.35 and I've got a few of those to play with and one or two in case I mess up because we know me and I've got some card bases so these are A4 sheets of basic white that have been cut in half and scored in half to create my card bases okay let's get going I know I want to play with some colour with this set um, I haven't really thought what colour, but what I have grabbed is some spare paper because I don't like messing my grid paper up while I'm filming. So I can put that underneath my um, my card mount and not mess up my grid paper. Because, you know, I'm a bit OCD about those sorts of things. So I want to play with this one. Yeah, yeah let's play with that one first. And... Let's pop it onto a big block. So I've got my uh, E block. Is that big enough? Are you big enough? I, yes, just about ish, a little bit. <laughs> right, what colours shall we use? I'm going to go for Smoky Slate because I love Smoky Slate. I'm also going to play with Pretty Peacock and grab a yellow to go with those uh, mango melody let's go with those three and see where we end up i was actually planning to go brighter but well we all know me smoky slate and mango melody will always call to me so let's get this this inked up got my uh, chamois near so that i can do a little bit of a clean up so intricate I'm just really pushing down so that I get all of it onto the paper oh isn't that beautiful I love it right um I'm gonna do another smoky slate one while I've got it out I think if Mango Melody goes there, there. I'm going to pop it up there. Again, I'm pushing so that we get all of it added on. Oh, I think it's beautiful. Oh, lovely, lovely, lovely. Yes, I have a new chamois. I'm so excited about it. But um, <laughs> I made... I made my card for yesterday to go out and then for next Tuesday I've already done as well <laughs> and it got my new chamois dirty but um they do arrive this colour my last one was literally black all the way over so I was like when I get a new craft room I am having a clean chamois mango melody I can tell you a funny story about mango melody for the last year or so since I've been using it and it's been one of my favorite colors on the blends I've been calling it mango medley and I thought when I moved in, do you know what? I actually want to get the ink pad for that colour as well as using the blend because I, I use it so much and I like it. 
I put an order in for it and found out that it's actually called Mango Melody as opposed to Mango Medley. So anyone who has been listening to me natter on about Mango Medley for the last year thinking that we've invented a new colour. No, I've just got it wrong. <laughs> and you can see why I love it. The colour is beautiful. Look at that. Look at that. Isn't it just woo, stunning, stunning. Right. Um, I realise I haven't played my pretty peacock yet. I realise that. So I think I'm going to use this little, little piece. Here, it kind of looks like an arrow, I feel. And I think, yeah, that's going to fit in the gaps. And it's going to be pretty peacock. Putting my lids on my um, stamp cases. If you've watched me before, you know I get into trouble and I end up decorating my arms and my wrists and here whenever I put my hands into my ink pads. So uh, I'm trying not to do that. And it's actually something when I did classes, it was uh, one of the first things I said to people. I noticed that people used to turn up to my um, craft classes. We were in a hall. So it was a little bit nippy. So they used to wear sort of long sleeves and they always used to be sort of whites or creams and neutrally colours. So one of my first warnings was put the lids on your stamp sets, on your ink pads, otherwise you're just going to end up in a mess. Hmm. <laughs> right. A sentiment. Ooh. Yeah, I'm going to go with you inspire me. I have um, a lot of crafty friends that I have neglected recently, um, mainly because I have been moving. So uh, I haven't really been around or crafting with people. Right, I'm on a punch. Do, 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 do. Half inch punch, do we reckon? Wait, one and a half inch circle punch, do we reckon? I think the circles look quite nice with this. Oh, oh, will you fit on top? Oh, yes, maybe. We'll see. Um, yes. So normally I have little crafty sessions with some of my crafty friends, with my team, things like that. I obviously haven't been able to have them because I have had a craft room. So I'm thinking I might write to them. So You Inspire Me is a really good one because they do some fantastic inspirational stuff on YouTube. And obviously, because they're amazing crafters, I've received some lovely new home cards as well. So thank you for everyone who sent those. I will do a video and show you all what I got. So you inspire me. Ooh. Oh, I like that. It just fits over the middle part. In fact, it's going to go up there. Right. I want a ribbon on it. I do, I do, I do. And as we all know, it's one of my favourite ribbons. Um, oh, so there's that one, which you can colour. So I can colour that in or the grey. And I think I'm going to go with the grey. So this is our shimmer ribbon. It's grey granite in colour. And it comes with a posy, uh, sorry, the peony set that's in the annual catalogue. So if you want that, get in quick. Right. I'm going to put that through the middle of this circle. So in order to know that it's in the right place, I'm just going to pop a glue dot on there so I can stick it in the right place and know that I'm going straight. Ooh, do, do, do. There we go. Oh, it's a good choice of me to use lined paper. Look at that, I can line myself up right. Oh, clever me. And some glue. Let's grab some seal and pop that down just to tuck that over. I haven't worked out yet if I want it as a bow or not. So much for me using the lines on my paper. I haven't got my um my ribbon on straight. <laughs> Typical, isn't it? You think it's a good plan and then it all goes wrong. 
So I'm just going to, because that's a bit sticky now, because I've got my sticky in the wrong place, I'm just going to pop that onto my card. Actually, I'm just thinking I haven't worked out if it's going to be that way or that way. It's going to be that way. I've played with it that way all the way along. Let's keep it that way. Um, you Inspire Me is going to go on there. So I just want a couple of dimensionals to pop that up so it's sticking out. And then I'm trying to work out whether I want a ribbon on it or not. do myself a ribbon, wrong ribbon, <laughs> and see whether I like it or not. I think I might do it sideways. I do like a good sideways ribbon. So let's just make myself a little ribbon. There we go. I think it needs to be that side and I think it needs to be smaller otherwise it's going to be off the side of my card so let's just yeah I like it like that you inspire me right this is where I usually go wrong because I'm normally now thinking of my next card and not paying attention to the card I'm currently making naughty me so I'm not going to do that this time. I'm actually going to finish this card first. So previously on my, um, I'm just looking in my little my little goodie bag for some some treats that I can put on there. I'm going to go with the basic rhinestone jewels. So previously um, in my other ones, I used to actually decorate them all at the end. So I used to make the three cards and then come round and put all the jewels and stuff on. But I found that I was just getting a little bit distracted doing that in thinking of the next card and thinking what I was going to do with the one I've just finished. So I'm actually going to do it properly and finish them all. And then hopefully I won't make any whoopsies. So I've just put those underneath that little sort of patterny piece with the arrow. And there's card number one. Right, card number two. Card number two. Um... Okay, I'm going to go landscape instead of portrait. I'm still going to use Pretty Peacock because it's out on my table and I love it. And it's one of our old uh, in colours. So by the time you see this, we will have a new annual catalogue on the way. So you actually won't have too much longer to purchase Pretty Peacock. So if you like it and you've never got it, pick it up now because you might struggle to get picky pe pe pretty peacock for much longer. And I love it, it's a beautiful colour. Blends, you get the blends in pretty peacock as well, so don't miss out on those. There's some lovely pretty peacock ribbon. I mean, it's just a gorgeous colour. Oh, it is. It's just beautiful. I love it. I love it. I love it. Right. Okay. Um, I'm going to go with You Are a Treasure. Because that's a fun sentiment, right? And I'm going to do some punching again, but I don't want my circle punch. I want it to go there. I'm going to use one of the label punches. So let's just grab... This one here so this actually come with the old mosaic suite ages ago do you remember the mosaics i loved those um but yeah i feel it's quite pretty i feel it kind of goes with this so let me just get some scrap not sure actually if i've got enough space there for that punch i have just okay you are a treasure And 
means you're going to go there. Lovely jubbly. What else am I going to do with this one? I feel like there should be something else. Okay, the little bit that with the little arrow that we used before this one, I'm actually going to put this underneath the punch so it just provides a bit of detail when that sits over the top like that and do you know what I think that's actually all I want yes don't ruin it people if it looks good here, here is a lesson that I have learned over the years of crafting if you like it and it looks good stop it is so easy to go too far and then you stuck with a card that you thought was pretty perfect 20 minutes ago, but you're still playing with it. Um, so I'm just going to stick that completely flat onto there. And put on You Are A Treasure. So I did have some dimensionals because I have only just used them wherever I put them. There they are. So something new, which I quite like, is... And I will do a craft room tour for you once I've got it set up exactly how I want it. At the moment, it's it's not how I want it, but it's going there. Is I've got a standing desk and I am so much more enjoying crafting at a standing desk. I can like move around um, and I can walk over to that side of the room and pick something up without having to get up and move the chair and everything else. So uh, I'm much happier with my standing desk. How do you guys craft? Do you guys got a sit down? Because I've sit down desk before. Do you guys have a sit down desk? And we're putting just in that little sort of archway, one of our um, rhinestones, just to give it a bit of glitz, because you know, bling's always good. Um. Ooh, I like it, I like it. I'm actually going to put a couple on that side as well. One, two, and one in the middle. Three. That is a bling bling card now, isn't it? So that's card number two. Card number three, I actually want to play with this archway here. But I also wanted to play with this here. Oh, help me out. Which one do I use? I think it's going to be that one, actually, you know. I am going to make myself a pretty little background with that one, I feel. So let me just grab my longer blocks. So this is the H block. Okay. Um, do I want a different cut? No, I'm going to... Stay with Pretty Peacock, I've got it out. And then, okay. Just gonna do a couple like that. Now you could do these straight if you've got your Stamparatus, but I'm being lazy because my Stamparatus has got things balancing on it. I've just flipped my paper the other way so that I actually get a different look coming back. I like it like that. I think I'm going to do any more. I could do the whole card, but actually I just, I quite like it like that. And it's not straight. I know it's not straight. It's not perfect. Ooh. Ooh, I like, ooh. See, now you know when I said, if it looks nice, stop. I'm not listening to myself, am I? It's because I love this stamp. This big mosaic stamp is gorgeous. Um, I just have a feeling that you might see a few cards with this stamp. So I was in a bit of an awkward quandary with the mini catalogue because I knew I was moving. Um, 
I hadn't really purchased that many things from it. So I decided to actually place an order for the stuff I really liked, which included um, this stamp. And then I've sat looking at it thinking, I want to play, I want to play, I want to play. And hoping that me trying to work out how to wallpaper and decorate wasn't going to take any longer so that I didn't have to stop playing with this card. Oh my gosh, I love that. That's my favourite one. I haven't even finished it yet, but it's my favourite one. Okay. Do I want to have... Today we celebrate you. Let's have a... Let's see how many of these stamps we can get inked up. Let's use all of them. <laughs> right. Now, I don't know whether you fit on. Oh, yes, you do. Okay, we're going to stay with the same punch because I liked that with this set. I thought they complemented each other quite nicely. So. Pretty peacock again. Yeah, if it ain't broken, people don't fix it. Today we celebrate you. Oh, I love the font. See, this this is why I wanted to play with this set. So I'm quite excited that uh, I finally managed to get it in. And we're going to have all new goodies soon with a new annual catalogue. And I haven't played all my old ones. So uh, I've definitely got some catching up to do. Oh, I love this card. But I'm not going to put any ribbon on it either. I'm not going to put much on this because it just looks perfect as it is. I'm not going to pop it up and stick it flat. because It's got lots of detail on it already. just yes yeah winner winner this card's for me <laughs> i have a new grid behind me um well actually we, we sold them in the um in the mini catalog just before christmas a metal sort of card hanger and it's still available on my website www.slimandstylish.stampinup.net which is where you can purchase anything i've used from and i have got that on my cupboard behind me so that I can actually put cards that I really like on there. And at the moment, they're all cards that's been sent to me, but I think this one's going to be put in the middle. To me, from me. <laughs> Do I want to put any glitz on it? I don't know whether I want rhinestones on again. I do. I want rhinestones on. Okay. I'm not putting many on. I'm just going to pop them. You see this bit here? It's got like a little triangle gap. I'm just going to pop it in the triangle. There we go. Oh, I love that one. Okay, so no shock horror on my parade of cards today. But this one here is my favourite. And it's a toss up for a second. Possibly there's a toss up. Let me know in the comments below which one's your favourite. See if we're the same. Thank you for joining me. If this is the first time, please do press subscribe and come back. I do post regular content and it'd be lovely to see you here again. And if you have liked this stamp or anything else I've used, you can purchase them from my store, www.slimandstylish.stampingup.net. Thanks everybody. I'll see you again soon. Bye. I hope you've enjoyed today's project. All items that I've used on this video are available to purchase from my store, www.slimandstylish.stampingup.net. Alternatively, if you would like a copy of our catalogues, please send me an email to slimandstylish at live.co.uk or leave me a comment below and I'll get in touch with you. I upload regular content to this channel, so if you do enjoy watching my tutorials, please make sure that you have subscribed and rang the bell to get notifications when new videos go live. Thank you for joining me and have a lovely day.